Welcome to JD's Water World, the number one Kawasaki jet ski channel on YouTube. All right, welcome to JD University. Today, I will be showing you how to use the KSRD system on your Kawasaki Ultra 160 or Ultra 310 jet ski. So as you can see right on the screen, we have a shift indicator that tells you if you're in forward, neutral, or reverse. So let's put our jet ski into neutral. You're gonna go like this. There's the KSRD actuator, one tap. As you can see, that puts us into neutral. Now, if you wanna go in reverse, all you do is hold this. let's say that you need a little more thrust in reverse. So what you're going to do is using these right here, hold reverse and then throttle up. Now I'm going to go back and forward. You can see here that we're in forward. If I want to go into neutral, tap once for neutral, tap again for reverse. If I want to go back to neutral, tap once for neutral. If I want to go into forward, tap once for forward. It's really easy to use, you just have to know exactly what to do. I'm gonna show you again. Right now I'm in neutral. Just by tapping once, it's gonna shift into forward. If I tap this again, the reverse, it's now in neutral again. And if I wanna go in reverse, you could hit reverse and let go, and your ski will stay in a, in a light reverse like this. And if you need a little more thrust, you can hold the trigger. So, quick recap. The ski has three modes, forward, neutral, and reverse. If you're in reverse, you can push the KSRD trigger to throttle up to about 2,800 RPM. If you want more than that, you gotta use the trim up or down buttons. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button and subscribe for more exclusive jet ski content only on JD's Waterworld.